Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? How's it going? And if you're coming back, what's up? How's it going? It's really good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. You see what happens when you subscribe to my channel? You get an extra greeting at the beginning of every single one of my videos. So press that subscribe button for an extra greeting. Okay, before we get into the video really quick, got new merch. It's all Curtis Town Cottage themed. It's a, we're having a Curtis Town Cottage summer. We got t-shirts, we got tie-dye hoodies. We got bucket hats, we got Curtis Town bucket hats, we got this hat, please be nice to me, it's it's the law. So much shit, dude, we got keychains, we got pins, dude, we're, we're going crazy, dude. But yeah, I'm hyped on how this merch came out, uh, it's like perfect for the summertime, so go, go get it, if you want. Alright, folks, so we're back, okay, this is episode three of me playing the episode game. Uh, to be honest, when I started, I was like, yeah, this this will be, I'll do like maybe three or four videos. Um, but then I looked at my, at the, the baby project, the one I'm doing, and I'm only on part four of 15. Ooh. Too many, too many for sure. I guess I'll be making these videos for a long, long time. So if you like them, that's good news. If you hate them, you're probably not watching. So it's all good. Yeah. Quick recap of episode one and two. I am Curtis with a bunch of S's. I am a bisexual nerdy theater girl in high school. And I'm a part of the baby project right now where I have to take care of a fake baby to pass my class. Made out with Cody Simpson, got paired up with the new girl, Leah. This new girl is kind of kooky. She says she knows me from somewhere, but I don't remember where because I was in an accident and I lost my memory, of course. And, my, and the last episode ended with a text message from my ex-boyfriend who disappeared after my accident. All right, now we're all cut up. Let's go. I got my episode here. Oh. <laughs> don't worry, this is a regular size can. Just my hand is very big. You'll notice I say hand because only this hand is big. My other hand is criminally tiny. I'm on the run from the law for my tiny, tiny hand. Okay, so this is a flashback, I think. Tony, it's so not just one night. It's every night. God, I wish you'd never play football again. No! Curtis wakes up, shaking her nightmare, to find she's being carried by someone. Damn, Leah, those muscles, bro. Close your eyes, Curtis. I've got you. <laughs> just completely sleeping sideways in someone's arms. Hey, thanks again for carrying me. I was really tired. Oh, uh, no problem. Just a heads up, I've wet the bed every single night of my life. Okay, gross. Oh man, are you seriously peeing right now? Ugh. I also shit the bed. What, you're awake? Good morning, sunshine. Were you watching me sleep? God, you are such an Edward. Is it a Twilight reference? What's an Edward? Education. You are such an education. Always watching me sleep. No way. I was downstairs doing math homework until like one second ago. Sure you were. Education. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get something ultra cozy to warm you up. Spend a million diamonds for this cozy sweater or wear a burlap sack is probably what it's gonna say. Haute couture means Netflix and chill, right? Dude, who writes these, man? Is there like an episode of Office Building somewhere where people are like, someone was writing this part and the manager barged in and was like, hey, not stupid enough, all right? If you don't wanna puke while you're reading it, it ain't a good episode. Okay, fine, sorry. Make it dumber. Hoot Couture meets Netflix and chill. How, is that good? Yeah. We should really get under the covers too. You need to get warmed up. Dude, Leah with the fucking game, bro. Ugh. I should put a fucking mask on because Leah's spitting so much fucking game, dude. Do I want to wear this and pick something out for Leah so we can get cozy? Wear this and cuddle up with Leah. Let's just go. Well, yeah, dude. I'll buy 60 diamonds. How about that? Great. You know, I'm still feeling sort of chilly. Let's cuddle up quick. And still fucking running to the bed. You can't just walk, huh? I know the bed's right, literally right beside us. So let's go. You know, you're kind of sweet, Leah Gibbs. You better hope I don't tell anyone. Go ahead and try. They wouldn't believe you anyway. You let Leah take care of you. So Curtis does off in Leah's arms for her first peaceful sleep in years. Years? Jesus. I'm always starving after a good cuddle sesh. Dig in. Don't want it to get cold. <laughs> you don't want this piping hot lemon lime sandwich on white bread to get cold. Okay, so we still didn't find out what our ex-boyfriend texted us. So I'm kind of kind of pissed about that. We're just making eating hot lemon lime sandwiches. What's What's going on? Wee, wee. Hey, little one. Shh, shh. Wee, wee. Okay, okay. 
Uh, sing a lullaby. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. That was a Christmas song, right? I've acted like a total jerk to you. Can I get a redo? Is this really happening? I'm not gonna let this moment pass us by. No! Dude, they just high school musicaled us. The whole move, the whole first high school musical movie, they didn't kiss. Troy and Gabriella were about to, they never did. And I'll never forgive them. They waited till the end of the second one. And I'm on episode four. If I don't, if I don't see a real kiss, dude, this is worse. This is worse than High School Musical. Even though everything is worse than High School Musical because High School Musical is the best. Okay, let's keep going. Ding dong. Are you kidding me? That was literally, that was what I just did. Are you no! kidding me? Just we were finally having a moment. Just when I was about to fucking kiss. Dude, I'm, fuck it, dude. All right, I'll spend my real life money to watch these fake cartoon girls kiss. Not weird at all. We'll tell them we couldn't hear the doorbell. What doorbell? Exactly. Get over here, Leah Gibbs. Gibbs me a kiss. Finally, I thought our second kiss would never happen. The tension was getting epic. <laughs> Yo, the tension was epic as fuck. Dude, a, a gamer, like, post-coitus. Yo, GG's, bae. <laughs> yeah. Did we clip that? Leah, I do believe we're having an intimate moment. <laughs> what the fuck? I do believe we're having an intimate moment. <laughs> Ah, uh, yep, this moment is intimate, I can tell. Ding dong! Okay, okay, I guess I should get that. If you have to. It's Cody Simpson! Cody, you brought me cookies? Thought you might want some sugar. Thanks, and goodbye. I'll just leave these cookies in the kitchen and head out. <gasps> you, so you're sure you're okay? You don't need anything else? I know how serious concussions can be. Yeah, they're kind of notoriously serious. You sure you shouldn't be at a doctor? Your coma was no joke. You don't understand, I got home safe. Fuck was that? Books. <laughs> I got home safe. Books. I'm moving on from the accident. I want to keep those memories buried. Forever. From this moment forward, I'm leaving that night behind me. Books. Books. Leah? Oh, Leah? <laughs> Where'd you go? Ah, <laughs> what, is she? what the fuck was that? <laughs> she just ant man onto the fucking screen. Yo, Scott. Scott, hurry it up, dude. We're gonna be late. Where are you? <laughs> hey, sorry, man. I was fighting tiny crime. I'm here, though. Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to ask you. When you're, when you're small, you're like, you're like that big, right? Yeah. Okay, so when you're that small, your dick must be like, <laughs> like that, then, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess. You got a tiny dick, buddy. It's normal sized when I'm normal sized, so it's fine. All right, whatever you say, man. <laughs> whatever, let's just go, okay? Hold on, shouldn't we wait for Tyler? He said he wanted to come too. I'm sure he'll just meet us there. Let's go, okay? No, stop, I'm down here. <gasps> ah! Was that Tyler? I think so. Whatever, he's got a small dick anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Spencer brought cookies, want one? No, I gotta go, later Curtis. Wait, right now? I just finally figured it out. You and me, it's a bad idea. What's with the 180? Yeah, what the fuck? I can't do this to you, we can't do this. And now we need to try to forget. Bah. Excuse me. Leah, you are so not leaving like this. <laughs> Spencer's chasing. <laughs> Let her go! Why are you always making me run after you? She's like punching the inside of her car, because that's what Leah does. Listen to Golden Boy. He can be good for you, I'll never be. Spencer's not the one who saved me today, it was you, so cut the crap. Okay, cut it. Take crap, cut it in half. I'll keep Chris fucker tonight. Do whatever you want. But what I want is... It's you, Leah. All right, let's do episode six. But first, here are a few words from our sponsors. Oh, what the fuck is this? A, a Curtis Connor video? Fuck you. Well, I'm proud of you for going after Gibbs. You got moxie, kid. We kissed and it was, keep it PG-13, sis. It was perfect. I mean, kissing is already pretty PG-13, right? It's tough to make a kiss rated R. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, bitch. We Smoke oh, M, G. I so ship like Curtis. That's the, that's my name in French, like Curtis. But when Spencer showed up with those cookies, Leah flipped and ran off. Spencer is a gift from the romance gods. Don't call, cause he made a, cause he fucking made a plate of cookies, bro. If making one plate of cookies makes you the king of romance. 
Dude, Cake Boss, I'm soaked. I'm soaked just thinking about him. Cake Boss! If Gibbs can't act right, give us one chance to make a love connection for our co-stars. And I know exactly what to do to bring you and Spencer closer than ever. Hey, Curtis! <laughs> what if he actually sounded like that? Are we on Burrows on tonight? Absolutely, dear Orifice. I haven't really been feeling the, the big wedding scene, you know? So I'm doing a major rewrite. Okay. Who are you? You can't... That's not how plays work. <laughs> Imagine, though, if you go see a play and you didn't like that part, you can go, hey, hold on, time out. You're telling me Romeo and Juliet died? Nope. It's gonna be way flame emoji, hard eyes emoji. Okay. No one talks like this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lightning emoji. Do you want to come over to my house and watch the wizard emoji? Cup emoji of fire emoji? Can you take Chris Fucker tonight? Sure, meet me at rehearsal. Okay, see you there. Yeah, all right, all right, fuck yeah. Uh, what's with the celebration? Deep breaths. We just love deep breaths and we're celebrating because of them. <laughs> Little breaths are no more, only deep breaths. Your costume just came in from the designer and is everything. Well, look at that. Everything is moving back and forth. It's a good way to emphasize like a part of your sentence, you know? I'm sorry to tell you like this, but uh, your grandpa is dead. With that gown, we could totally rehearse the wedding scene today. Baby, are you gown, 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 gown? God, I don't have enough diamonds. Uh. I'm gonna get an email from my business manager and he's gonna be like, hey, what's episode? And also, why are they selling diamonds and why are they so cheap? Uh, okay, wear the costume and crush the wedding scene. Fuck it, here's the wedding scene, dude. Fuck it. Bam! Final verdicts before I get out there. Yeah, that's the verdict. Those are the three verdicts you can have if like you're in court. Guilty, non-guilty, and ah! I can't imagine leaving the underworld and not turn, hold on. I can't imagine leaving the underworld and not turning around to check you out. I can't imagine leaving the underworld and not turning around to check you out. I can't imagine leaving the underworld and not turning around to check you out. What does it mean? Leaving the underworld? Why, why would she be leaving the underworld? Is, can you not check people out in the underworld? I, this doesn't make any sense. I have to figure this out. I don't care how long it takes, I have to figure this out. Curtis! What? Who, who are you? I'm you, from the future. Wait, hold on. Hey, there's no time to explain. You gotta forget about this, all right? You move on, you'll never find out what it means. But I have to find out. No, you don't. Okay, you don't wanna know, trust me. You need to turn around and go just finish that video, okay? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Wow, Curtis. Need something, Gibbs? Oh wait, he should have like an Australian accent, right? Outback Steakhouse. Can you hang for a minute? I'll take Chris Fucker after rehearsal. Sure. Orpheus, I can't believe we're getting hitched. Outback Steakhouse. Outback Steakhouse. I'll... Fuck it, dude. I'll kiss everybody. That's the one constant thing with my character. I'm kissing fucking everybody, dude. Yeah, all right. <gasps> Is there something you want to say, Spencer? Gibbs, buzz off. We're in the middle of rehearsal. You sure you don't need a break to check your phone? What are you talking about? What's a phone? Where am I? Fuck, who are you? Sorry, what are you talking about? He's spying on you and reporting everything back to your ex, Tony. No fucking way, dude. Spencer, I hardly trust her. Excuse me? I can't believe Spencer's spying for Tony. What secrets has he shared? They must pick the prices fucking perfectly because how am I one short every time? I never have enough to do the fucking thing. Yeah, I'm gonna get more. Okay, give me that ampersand asterisk little triangle hashtag phone. I need to see what Spencer's been saying about me. Holy crap, look at all these calls to Tony. Saying I didn't expect to hear from you is the understatement of the year. I come on, Spence. At least pretend you have to hear from me. Dude, he's just like this super cockney guy. Spencer, how could you let this happen? Oh, this hurts my fucking throat, bro. Mr. Herbert just paired them up out of nowhere. And honestly, Tony, Seems like they've kind of got a thing. Well, I don't know like what I'm hearing. Who's <laughs> that new partner? I can handle it, Tony. Please just stay away. 
Dude, I think my throat's bleeding after that. What do I want to do with this phone? Dude, I'm smashing that shit, boy! Now I'm all ragey! Spencer, I need you to tell me why. To be continued. Damn. Enjoying the story so far? Fuck you. Alright, so we're pretty much like halfway done the story now. So hope you enjoyed it because I need to finish this. There's probably going to be like three more after this, but enough of an episode. Let's hear a word from today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Now that we all pretty much live on the internet nowadays, it's important that your online safety is secured. And that's why I use ExpressVPN every single day on all my devices to protect my online data. A lot of people think, oh, I'll just go incognito mode and clear my history and I'll be fine. But did you know, even in incognito mode, your internet service provider can still see all the sites you visit? They often keep logs of every single website you've ever witnessed, and they can even legally sell your data to ad companies for outrageous prices. And I don't like that at all. You know how many times I've searched wet fart sound effect into YouTube? Nobody needs to know that, only me. And I know a lot more people are working from home now because of COVID-19. And if you are one of those people, think about all the confidential information you handle on your home network right now. Without the supervision of your office IT department, micro configurations on your device or a malware infected router could put your data at risk of being stolen by hackers. ExpressVPN ensures that 100% of your data being transferred between your devices and the internet is encrypted. So no more worrying, all right? Time to kick back. Well, you still have to do your job, but. On top of ensuring your safety and privacy, ExpressVPN also allows you to expand your entertainment selection by letting you change your location so you can watch shows and movies that aren't available in your country on Netflix, BBC iPlayer, and many other streaming services. For example, I wanted to rewatch Parks and Rec, but it's not on Canadian Netflix, so I just set my location to the US. Bada bing, bada boom, I was able to watch it. Border? <laughs> I hardly know her. So if you wanna give ExpressVPN a try, all you have to do is go to expressvpn.com slash curtistown, or just click the link in the description to find out how you can get three months free. Thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and so many others in the past. Um, they really are a great company and it really just makes me feel safer. It gives me a lot of peace of mind when I'm using the internet. So, so yeah, I hope you check them out. Link in the description, like I said. All right. See ya. All right, that's it for the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please press the like button because believe it or not, one like equals one lozenge that I will that I will suck on because my throat hurts a lot. Yeah, leave a comment. Suggest some other um, similar games like this that I can play once this series is over, maybe. Press subscribe button because as soon as you press the subscribe button, you become a valued citizen of Curtistown. If you didn't know, Curtistown is the best place to live in the world and I'm the mayor and you have to be nice to me. It's the law. But yeah, again, check out the new merch. It's cool, it's good, it's nice. Check out the podcast. I just did episode 100, it's great. I mean, I haven't recorded it yet, but I'm sure it's great. But it will be up by the time this video's up. All right, that's it. I'd stick around, but I have to go, unfortunately. I have a date with the cake boss, see ya. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs>